There is more than 10,000 fighting games on Roblox, and today I will show you only some of the best fighting or PvP games available on Roblox today. This video will feature over 20 various games and will be a rating of all good and mostly popular fighting games on Roblox. If you are feeling competitive or you just want some good games to play, then this video is made for you. All of the games that I'm about to show are amazing, it's just that some of them are better than the other. Let's not make this intro long and we'll start a timer for 10 minutes. Let's go, shall we? Oh, no, wait, actually, let's start with a cool Okay, let's stop right there and start talking about our first game on our list, named The Reincarnation of the Infected. A great survival shooter game about two teams trying to kill each other. There are two teams in this game, survivors and zombies, and survivors must hold back the onslaught of the undead for five minutes. Zombies have special classes that have their abilities, such as being able to throw gas clouds, shot into the crowd of survivors, and much, much more. Graphics-wise, I'd have to give it about 6 out of 10, and gameplay-wise, 9 out of 10. Next game on our list is going to be Criminality, a high-quality crime simulator that basically simulates how the life looks like in Florida. In this game, you have to arm yourself with a variety of melee and ranged weapons in order to steal money from others. So for that reason, I am giving this game about 8 out of 10 graphics-wise and 8 out of 10 in gameplay-wise. The next game on our list is going to be Defend the Statue, a PvE shooter type of game where you must, uh, well, you know, defend the statue. You can do so with a variety of weapons, melee weapons with specific abilities and even magic staffs. There are many types of enemies for you to face, so you won't get bored. It's a simple style game, so I will have to give it 5 out of 10 graphics-wise and 7.5 out of 10 in game Gameplay wise, due to gameplay being good, but not exactly the best we can see. And while we're talking about unusual games, we have a game called Super Monkey on our list. A weirdly nice fighting game about, well, uh, monkeys fighting. Its gameplay is simple. Turn on the combat mode and go start killing people. Graphics wise, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Gameplay wise, 6 out of 10. It is not fully finished, however, so it can probably be good. And the next game on our list is going to be ABA or Anime Battle Arena. A battle grind type of game that allows you to play as a shit ton of various characters from most popular anime. Each character has an M1 combat and up to 4 abilities, and I swear to god there's nothing to write about this game except that it's just fun, although severely lacks in quality. Graphics wise I'll have to give this game a 4 out of 10, while well, gameplay wise it is going to be a 7 out of 10. And the next game on our list is going to be Untitled Boxing Game, a boxing game that shines in its variety of gameplay styles. You can practically use any style of boxing you may ever want, a skilled counter puncher or a destroyer of enemies health. That's all there is about this game. You bash your opponent's face in or you get bashed in yourself, that's up to you. Graphics wise I will have to give it a 5 out of 10 to good visual effects and uh, 8 out of 10 gameplay wise due to replayability and a variety of fighting styles. And speaking about fist fighting games, we have a game called Right to Fight. In this game, you have to fight street thugs with one of three styles that you choose during the fight. Fisticuffs, which is a balanced style, Frenzy, style focused on speed, and Brood, style focused on destruction, and possible major felony. Graphics wise, this game will receive a 5.5 out of 10, while gameplay wise, it is going to be an 8 out of 10. For such a great game, you gotta look the part, right? So, I prepared a website just for you. This website is actually called Custom Use. With custom Custom use, you are able to create your own clothing with ease. This website allows you to create, edit, and upload any clothing you could ever want, be it a fancy suit or some emo clothing. It's actually quite simple. You register on the website, select a template, and can start editing it right away with a variety of different accessories, AI generated items, and more. Change colors, draw on your own avatar, and write in a text, and much, much more only in custom use. This app is available on both Android and Apple platform, and of course on the computer. All of the links will be in the description, but for now, let's get back to our video. Next game in our list is going to be Zo. A simple a game about fighting on a desolate map with a few weapons that you can choose from, each one ranging in their gameplay style. For example, there's Tanto, a fast striking weapon, but it's also short so you have to risk range and safety in order to fight some. Overall, this makes for a pretty fun competitive game, but it's not the best one yet. Graphics wise, I'd give it a 7 out of 10, while gameplay wise, it'll be a 6 out of 10. Luckily, our good game streak has just begun, so buckle up because we're going to play some awesome games now. Starting off with Item Asylum, a game where you have to spawn with 3 random weapons and where you have to kill others. It's extremely simple, but it's filled to the brim with memes and other references. Graphics wise it's going to be a 5 out of 10, while gameplay wise it's going to be 8 out of 10 due to a variety of maps, weapons and game modes. Next game we have is called Rampant, a severely underrated fighting game where you have over 30 classes to choose from, and each one has a set of unique abilities. This game is very good for skilled people as it allows them to make unusual and unique combos. This game will receive a 6 out of 10 for graphics and 9 out of 10 for gameplay, 
it still allows for a great skill expression. Next game we have is called Bed Wars, an extremely popular game, but I just can't leave it alone, dude, how good and smooth it is. The game features an exceptional Minecraft gameplay and a lot of upgrades to use. You can also buy a lot of weaponry to use against other people, and your main goal is simple. Destroy your opponent's bed to prevent them from respawning. Graphics-wise, this game gets an 8 out of 10, while for gameplay, it's also going to be an 8 out of 10. Next game we have is called Project Smash. This game is extremely simple and clean, while also allowing a huge variety of combos to be performed. The graphics may not be the best, but the gameplay compensates for it more than enough. For graphics, this game gets an 8 out of 10, and for gameplay, it's an easy 10 out of 10. An amazing game that everybody should play. And while we're talking about amazing fighting games, we have the strongest battlegrounds on the list. This game has an absolute amount of combos, and as always, multiple classes to choose from, each one having a set of 4 abilities to use. For graphics, this game gets an 8 out of 10, and for gameplay, it's a 9 out of 10. It's not exactly perfect, but it's still very good. Next game on our list is going to be Fighting, an unusually styled fighting game about teams of 5 people fighting each other. There are over 13 different classes to choose from, and each one has a specific set of abilities that you combine with each other. This game gets a huge bonus for having a wide variety of maps and game modes to play on, so for graphics it gets a 7 out of 10, and for gameplay it's an 8 out of 10. Next we have a game called Blade Ball. To be completely honest with you, it's not as bad as many people seem to think. It's an extremely simple game with multiple abilities to use, so it gets the job done. The items are extremely overpriced, but that doesn't mean that the game itself is bad. So for graphics, this game gets a 4 out of 10, and for gameplay is going to be a 7 out of 10. And the next game we have is called Blocks Fruits, and I don't know about you guys, but this is the worst game on our list yet. Sure, there's a lot of fruits and gameplay styles to play as, but just, just look at this. This doesn't really look that hard, right? This game has its depth, and I know that, so for that reason, it gets a graphics rating of 3 out of 10, and a gameplay rating of 6 out of 10. Genuinely not the best game that you can play. Fortunately, though, we're back to good games. Next game on our list is going to be called Ragdoll Universe. In this game, you must select a map and a modifier for it and start killing people with weapons you find laying around. There are a lot of types of weapons in this game, ranging from knives to whatever I just got killed with. This game was made by the developers of Door, so the game looks and feels amazing, both graphically and gameplay-wise. For graphics, this game receives a 9 out of 10, and for gameplay, it's also 9 out of 10. Now we have a top 3 game on our list, and the name of it is Combat Warriors. I'm sure everyone knows about it, but it is definitely worthy of a spotlight. This game features over 50 different weapons, a glory kill system, and utilities to help you kill people. This game isn't really that deep, just go around and kill people, but for, so for that reason, it receives a 6 out of 10 graphics-wise, 9 out of 10 gameplay-wise. We're coming closer to an end, and we have the second best fighting game on Roblox. The name of the game is Combat Initiation, an amazing ultra-kill style shooter set in a rate of age of Roblox, with corresponding weaponry and enemies to fight. There are in total of 3 stages, each one having a difficult boss to fight. You can upgrade your weapons at the end of each stage, thus because Coming much stronger. This game is extremely fun and smooth, so for graphics I'd have to give it a 7 out of 10, and for gameplay it's a 10 out of 10. Absolutely amazing. And finally, we come to the best fighting game on Roblox, and the name of it is ours. A great fighting game about fighting off waves of enemies with bosses at the end of each stage. The most important aspect of this game, however, is its classes and abilities. There are over 15 different characters with their own unique set of abilities and even more of unique time powers, being able to stop time and reverse it or do anything you want with it. This game genuinely might be the best one you could ever play. It's not really graphical, but the gameplay makes up for it more than enough. For graphics, I'll have to give it as a 5 out of 10, and for gameplay, it's an easy 10 out of 10. 10. Absolutely amazing game. Now though you have reached the end of the video, so um, goodbye.